Your biology paper 2 exam is on the 15th of June and in this video I'll let you know exactly what I did to achieve a grade 9. If you don't know me already, my name's Jaden, a first year dental student studying in university. Hopefully you're seeing this video a few days before your exam so you still have time to do work and you still have time to listen to this advice and hopefully improve. Well done to everyone watching this as I know you've already gone through so many exams and you're nearly at the end so please try to carry on. Everyone is doing so well and I'm wishing everyone the very best. Also make sure you stay to the end because I'll be giving you some practice questions questions from past papers which you can try to answer in the comments below. I don't want to waste your time so I'll quickly get started but timestamps will be in the description below so you can skip around the video and see whatever section suits you most. Also always remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay so my first tip would be to skip any questions that you're unsure of. Especially in biology sometimes the time can be really tight and there is a lot of content in biology so if you do not know the question or you're struggling on it then just skip it and leave it to the end. If you have no idea on how to answer the question then just give it your best guess and then try to come back to it. Circle the question or just highlight it and after you finish the whole paper come back to all the ones you haven't done. In biology it's really common to get like big six marker or four marker questions. If you don't have many ideas at the moment of this don't leave it out and definitely do not leave it blank. Write as much as you can remember on whatever that question is testing you about. For example if the question is testing you about homeostasis then write as much as you can about homeostasis trying to link it to the question. Try to use as many key words and phrases as you can to try and hit those points in the mark scheme. As biology is one of those subjects where the mark scheme is really strict so it's hard to hit all those points. There's no such thing as a silly answer so don't be afraid to guess randomly and don't be afraid to write wrong things. It is always better to try than to leave it blank as if you try there's always a possibility that you will get it right and you will get a few marks but if you leave it blank then there's a 100% chance that you'll just get zero. My second tip would be to remind yourself of all the common questions you may get asked. For example I can remember there are so many times where I've been asked questions about speciation or Darwin's theory of evolution compared to Lamarck's. How inter Internal body temperature is maintained, eutrophication, I know those are all big topics, especially in paper two. Try to answer these, write flashcards, write summary notes of all of these big questions, as when you get asked this six marker, you can just regurgitate all this information and hopefully just get all the marks relatively easily. Also remember to read over any important definitions such as biodiversity, what species is, definition of homeostasis, what alleles are, and those are just a few of the main ones that I can even still remember to this day. Another thing I would do is to look through all your topics in your textbook, for example, your school textbook, or your CGP textbook. List all the topics you're weakest on and try to find exactly what you struggle on. You want to be harsh on yourself whether you know the topic or whether you don't. And to find all these topics, you can just search it online of what topics come up in paper two. For example, in biology AQA paper two, there's homeostasis and response, inheritance, variation and evolution, and ecology. This way you can prioritize your learning so you can forget everything that happened in paper one and try to focus on all the content in paper two. Quickly skim over all your notes and all your summary sheets that you've made. Skim over your past papers and past questions as well. And try to remind yourself what you always get wrong so you don't make the same mistake. You'll make the most improvement right now if you focus on your weakest topics and if you work on what you're worst at. So I would strongly recommend you do this and I strongly recommend you just finalize any gaps in your knowledge. And when looking over past papers you can also watch videos on people answering questions in real time. The act of just reading through your past papers and your past questions or just watching people answer questions will put you into the right state of mind before your exam and you may be able to recall information which you didn't even know you learned properly. If you have enough time and you manage to find certain certain areas where you're weakest on, then definitely note these down, make notes from the textbook and watch videos on them if you can. Anything you do now will pay off so much and you'll be so happy if that happens to come up in the exam. There have been so many moments where I've searched things up last minute and they have cropped up in the exam and then I'm so happy that I did so. And I'm telling you that's the best feeling in the world when you know something because you literally just searched it up. Remember to stay at the end of the video as I'll be giving you guys practice questions to try and answer to test your active recall and to strengthen your knowledge. My next tip is about using flashcards in the days coming up to your exam. I'd advise you to test yourself to see if you've forgotten anything. Testing yourself is a very good way of revision as it's a form of active recall and then next time you'll be able to remember the information even better. When answering all of these then marking yourself and then reading what the proper answer is you're giving yourself more chances to put this into your short-term memory so you might remember it easier during the exam. There are so many online resources you could use such as Quizlet, Anki, YouTubers such as Biology Carol, Science Shorts, Free Science Lessons and these are all great last-minute revision resources which you can use if you just want to fill in any knowledge gaps you may have. Now my next tip is to make sure you rest well and not rest as in just physically resting but also resting your mind. Exams can be extremely stressful physically and mentally so it's so important you take care of yourself. Get your mind ready for the day of your exam. Sleep early, eat well, do exercise, take regular breaks and still have fun. I know it's easier said than done but try not to procrastinate and don't do any work super late at night because at the moment it's so much more important getting a good night's sleep rather than doing a little bit more work. 
you'll be able to focus and concentrate more on your exam, which gives you the highest chance of performing at your highest ability. So now, as promised, here are a few practice questions which you can try to answer in the comments below. Try to answer without looking at your notes at first, and if you can't, then look at your notes and then try to answer. And then after that, check other people's answers, compare them with yours, and review everything until you're satisfied. And when you're replying to other people's comments, say what's good about them, what could be improved, and just give each other honest and good feedback. I'll put all the questions on screen one by one, and I'll be giving you a total of six questions. Pause the video every time I say the question, and then once you're ready, unpause and then go on to the next question. The first one is to name two types of microorganisms which can cause decay. This is worth two marks, and you should write a one or two word answer. Number two is to name part of the brain that is responsible for making a decision. That's worth one mark and should be a one word answer. Number three is to explain why a long sighted person may have difficulty seeing near objects clearly. That's worth two marks, and it says explain, so be sure to actually explain why this happens. Number four is to describe three differences between mitosis and meiosis. That's three marks and it's to describe, so remember what that means. Number five is worth four marks and it's to describe the structure of a nucleotide. Number six is worth six marks and I'll put the question on the screen. Farming techniques have changed in recent years. Describe why more land is being used for farming and how increased farming has increased biodiversity. So it's linking a few different things together. It's worth six marks, so be sure to write enough for it. And also another point, you don't really need to write in full sentences or full perfectly grammared English. You can write bullet points for this and as long as you're hitting what the mark scheme says, you should be fine and the teacher should give you your marks. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's helped in some way. Those practice questions should be quite helpful and I hope that you managed to answer all of them quite nicely. Once again, exams are so tough and I know how hard it can be. Congratulate yourself with all the hard work you've done so far and keep going no matter what happens. Post in the comments any questions you may have. I try my best to reply to as many as I can. Hopefully I see you again soon. Remember to like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. Wishing everyone who sees this all the best. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.